I'm just uh, uh, just in here doing my thing again. Um, yeah, let me get uh, get out of here. Um, oh, oh man, I forgot to take my suit off. It's running down my leg. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get on uh, get a uh, get on with this uh, ship tour. And uh, yeah. Hey Knights, how's it going? I'm um, sorry about that uh, that little intro there. Um, those torpedo burritos, they really uh, they really get to you. Uh, anyways, I was just wanting to do a uh, like uh, not a ship review, but more of a ship tour uh, on the Mercury Star Runner. Um, this ship is absolutely amazing. It's gorgeous. Um, I love it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the, uh, the C2 Hercules, uh, just because of the design of this ship right here. Um, I have high hopes for it. Um, it's, uh, it's a beautiful ship. Uh, it's kind of, uh, uh, I guess designed kind of like a, it's the Star Citizen version of the, uh, Millennium Falcon, I would say. But uh, but it's a it's a beautiful ship. Uh, I love it. I really do. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so here we go. That was the outside of it. Let's uh let's go ahead and hop up on the inside of it here. So this right here is cargo. Uh, you can actually uh, even have a rover uh, that you carry in here. Uh, but be careful if you got a rover in here and you try to get cargo. Uh, you're going to get kind of bugged out and everything. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and close this door. Um, and of course you got like a little fire extinguisher here. Put out fires in the future. So, uh, so you know, when they have fires. Uh, the cool thing about uh, the Mercury Star Runner is each room uh, has its own light. Um, and that is, that is absolutely amazing to me. Uh, I love that, and they plan on updating the other ships, uh, all the other ships, uh, with their own, you know, uh, with the same lighting system that the Mercury Star Runner has, where each room, you know, you can turn on and off, uh, you know, individual lights. I think that's really cool. I think it's really needed. Another thing here is the uh, the doors. Um, you know, you can have it to where the doors are automatic sensors, where, you know, they open when you get close. Uh, that gets on my nerves, however, because uh, sometimes the doors are opening when I don't want them to. Um, so what we do is uh, you can actually turn these sensors on and off. Um, uh, say you can turn them on and off. Maybe, maybe the feature isn't working right now. Um, is it working? No. Okay, so maybe that feature isn't working right now. Maybe I gotta have it closed. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. I do know that the. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is it off? Please tell me you're off. Okay, so apparently the sensors being on and off are not working. Either that, or I just don't know how to use them. Uh, but uh, but you can also you can you can lock the doors. I know that works for sure. So I'll go ahead and lock it here, um, and the door is locked. Okay, uh, it's proving me wrong here. Close the door and lock the door. Is it locked? No. Okay. There we go. Now it's locked. Okay. Maybe I clicked it too many times. So. Uh, in the future, hopefully they optimize that. But right now the door is locked; it won't open. 
Um, so if someone, you know, comes down to your ship and they're unauthorized, you can actually lock them out of, uh, in, you know, like engineering or, or your other parts of your ship. Uh, so let me go ahead and unlock that and get away from it because I don't, I don't think it works. Um, there we go. Okay, so this right here is your engineering room after I had some major malfunctions with the door. Uh, obviously that's cooler, cooler, your power, and your other power. So apparently there's two, uh, two power plants in this. Um, and then of course you've got your, uh, your quantum drive right here. So, uh, these right here will be more physicalized in the future right now. These are just placeholders. Um, you'll actually be able to like, from what I understand, there'll be like mini games that you can do with them. So let's say that something's happening with your cooler. You'll be able to come back here and uh, I guess uh, this is an example, like these wires right here, you'll be able to like uh, maybe cross the wires or re redo the wires or, or whatever. If any of you played Among Us, if you ever seen that little mini game where you have to take the red to the red wire, the blue to the blue wire, you know, there might be like some sort of mini game uh, kind of like that. I, obviously, it's not going to be that simple. Um, they're going to uh, they're going to make it much harder. But uh, you know, if if you have like the captain of your ship and you're like engineering and he calls you and and needs you to like divert power from one of the coolers or divert power from one of the power plants, and, you know. Uh, or, or something's going on with the power plant, you offer, hey, I could divert the power from here to here, you know. Uh, I think that's a really cool mechanic uh, of, of the game. Um, so this is, you know, they, they you can either go up this uh, ladder or you can access this elevator and go to, like, your, uh, <laughs> your server room up here. So this is the server room. Um, again, uh, the servers don't do anything right now. In the future, they're going to hold uh, information. Um, that's going to be the main thing for these. Now, uh, I don't know what kind of information. Maybe like a location of like a, a big old mining node or mining materials. You know, you could you could get that information and maybe take it to a mining company and sell that information to them. Or, uh, or let's say that you uh, you get military information. You know, maybe you can uh, sell military information from one org to another. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of possibilities with that. This right here is the scanning room. I get. I'm assuming this is what you know. Uh, this is how you'll be able to get your information. Uh, scanning other ships or or uh, scanning planets or whatever. Um, I'm not all sure what it will entail, but I'm sure it'll entail quite a bit. But it's a pretty, pretty cool little room. And again, like I said, um, you know, each room, you can turn the lights on and off. Um, I think that's just really, really cool. Now, obviously, if you're playing with friends, this is a crew ship. So, uh, so this is, I think it's about, yeah, three person uh, ship. So, you can have your buddies hop in these turrets right here. And uh, when you're getting in a fight, you know, they can hop in these turns and then they can um, they can defend your ship um, with these turns. So you just, you know, you can turn them off and on. Um, let's see, where's the power button here? Sometimes I have trouble finding the power buttons on these things. Um, where are you? Uh, let's see. Gyro remote. Power on. There we go. Okay. All right. So anyways, um, and if you hit Q, you can go from, I, I don't like this mode. This mode right here sucks. Um, it's basically where you can, if you, you know, you can constantly rotate the turret. But if you hit Q, you can be more precise uh, with your, your, your movements. But of course, buddies can hop up in here in these turrets and they can, um, they can, you know, help defend the ship. But it's really cool. Um, there's also this right here is the bridge. Um, all these doors again, you can lock and unlock. This is habitation. This is where. Uh, oh God, still stinks in here. Um, maybe that's just still being in my suit. 
Um, anyways, uh, so I don't know if these monitors will function in the future. I'm hoping they will. I'm hoping they'll have some kind of functionality to them. Uh, these are the bathrooms. Uh, let me go ahead and... No, don't see it. Oh, no, I've already done that. Right, get back up. <coughs> get back up off of there. Um, uh, but, you know, you can close the toilets and stuff like that. These are bathrooms. They also have showers in them. Uh, these are lockers. Uh, again, your inventory is going to be physicalized, so you'll be able to put, uh, like, uh, clothes or, or maybe even some armor or, or whatever in these lockers. Um, and of course, uh, these, you've got your sleeping, uh, sleeping, uh, arrangements here, your little cots. Um, I don't know if these double as escape pods. I don't think they do. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know. Uh, if you know in the comments, let me know. Um, this right here is the recreational area. <clears throat> this is where, you know, you can, uh, play chest, uh, chest. Not chest. You can play chess uh, with buddies and whatnot. It's still kind of clunky at the moment. There's actually a secret uh, to the to the whole chess thing. Um, you know, if you grab this this right here, uh, which is I think is the queen, and place it on there, it um, you know uh, unlocks a little <clears throat> a little secret room that everybody knows about. Uh, yeah, this room's not secret. Everyone knows about it. Um, that's one thing I kind of have an issue with <clears throat> on the Mercury Star Runner. Um, it's a smuggling ship, so, you know, there's going to be, um, areas in here. And yes, you can access different areas of the ship, uh, you know, via these little, uh, uh, rat tunnels or, or uh, I forget what the hell they're called, but, um, you can access like okay i just close that um but you know the thing about it everybody knows about it uh the smuggling area it's it's not like a huge secret um i guess it's you know supposed to be like in role play where the ai doesn't know uh you know when the security forces stop you you know they don't they don't know um, but you know, this area is also, uh, so like if you are carrying illegal goods, uh, this area is protected from scanning and stuff. So I guess you could put your illegal goods here and, and, or illegal stowaways, whatever. Uh, but if you actually got this door right here, um, this leads back to the cargo room. And, uh, again, you can go to different areas of the ship, uh, via these little tunnels too. So, um. And they plan on, right now, the only way you can come in is the, uh, the rear exit. Uh, but they plan on, um, actually adding, uh, another entrance to the Mercury Star Runner. I guess that way if you get trapped or if you have people that's bored your ships, you can get those tunnels and you can kind of, uh, make your escape out one of the two places. But that don't even make sense to me because you would think that the people who have raided your ship would have both entrances guarded uh, but this right here is the bridge uh, this is where you fly the ship um, you can actually put weapon your weapons in here uh, you know um, again I think in the future you're not going to want to carry all your inventory on you uh, it will weigh you down all your inventory will be physicalized so if I want to hop up here and the um, in the seat right here so this is where the, the magic happens uh this is uh this is where your pilot you know you pilot the ship um you know I, I love love the design of the cockpit and everything you can actually have your um your uh co-pilot over there too right now co-pilots can't do much um in the future they're supposed to be able to do a lot more uh, but right now, all, all your co-pilots can do is just sit there and uh, watch you fly the ship. Uh, one day, you'll be able to transfer, um, you know, your controls to them or whatever. But uh, that pretty much concludes this, uh, this little tour of the Mercury Star Runner.
Um, I hope you guys like it, and uh, if so, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, you know, share, whatever. And I appreciate you guys. Y'all have a good one. Later on, nights.